Hi, how are you this fine Monday morning? Had a great weekend. My kids did their choir concerts in school and did, both did very well. Aiden's not all that interested in singing. So after Christmas, at the Christmas concert, he uh, didn't really participate. This time he was a bit of a handful running uh, up and down the stage, but he did participate in some of the songs and sang, and sang some too. So I was quite pleased with that. So I'm going to be reading um, after uh, out of Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you. This is the Lord's declaration. Plans for your welfare, not for disaster. To give you a future and a hope. Now, some uh, versions say plans to prosper you. So he wants... Um, he wants, he has plans for good and not for evil, not for disaster. His plans are to give you a future and a hope. Now, if we make a decision to follow after God, then our life is going to be better than it ever possibly could have been. It's going to be greater than we ever even could have hoped for ourselves. Um, but what do we have to do in order for this to um, happen in our life? We have to stop and say, God, what do you have for me? We have to allow our decisions to be made by the, with the help of God. Um, anytime I'm looking for a new job, I ask God to open the doors that he needs to open and close the ones that I don't need to go through. No matter what I thought of that job, if I thought, oh, oh that's going to be a great job, I really want that job, I uh, might get a little upset at first, but I don't get angry at God. I, I just get kind of bummed because it sounded like a great job. But I know that God has, has my uh, future in his hands, and he has my well-being in his hands, and he knows what we need. He knows what's good for us and what's not good for us. He sees the future. We do not. So it's important that we allow God to help us in our lives. And we, we focus on him and say, okay, Lord, I want to follow after you. I want what you have for me. But he's a gentleman. So we have to uh, we have to allow him to do that. If we, if we go on our own way, he's not going to pick you up and make you go his way. He's going to... Uh, He's going to lead you his way as long as you're willing to follow. And so I, I encourage you to put God first in your life. And I encourage you to ask him what he has for you and what you should be doing. No matter what it is, you need to do it. Um, because you're going to like it more than you think. So I hope you have a great week. And I'll see you uh, sometime midweek. And um, let's say a prayer. Father, I just thank you for this day, God. I thank you that we're open to you and we're open to the call you have on our lives and the plan you have for us, Father God. And we thank you that your plan is to give us a hope and a future, Father. And we thank you for helping us to, to be where you need us to be and, and to where you want us to be. In Jesus' name, amen. Alrighty.